What's up everyone, welcome back to Workshop Rebuild. I do have a new project right beside me here and I do have quite a few that are already on the way but the weather outside isn't very nice so I'm going to have to be working inside the shop and to complete the Alice Chalmers I still have to paint it outside the John Deere I have to do the final touches and drive it outside as well so the weather has to get nicer for that and I have the Gravely which I'd like to do the first startup as well and for that I like to bring it outside so there are many projects that I have on the go so I just have to have nicer weather so I can actually go outside and finalize them for you guys but in today's video I managed to lift up the Vanguard or Brickstrand V-twin engine onto the table right here this is a 16 horsepower engine uh, it came out of a garden tractor but I actually took it out of one and it will be going into a different one and the neat feature on this right here is actually it is a V-twin with a pull start on it and it has an external oil filter. I haven't seen this configuration or this setup at all. Uh, it's pretty special in my opinion and I think it's really really nice to have that feature especially the external oil filter which you can just screw on or off uh, and service this very quickly. But what I'll be doing today is actually ripping into this engine and cleaning it up, actually splitting the engine and making sure we have good oil and good components within the engine and I'll be reassembling the engine so we can put it inside the lawn tractor. So let's get to it. In the intro of this video, I had the V-twin brick strand on my new workbench over there. I will leave a link up in the card so you guys can watch that video if you're interested in how to build a workbench. I decided to put the V-twin brick strand right here on a steel tabletop because the engine is really, really filthy. So I'm going to be dismantling it over here and then the parts will move over to the new workbench where I can actually look at the parts and see if anything needs a touch up or if any part needs to be replaced and we'll do that over there and then if everything is good we'll reassemble the engine and then we'll start it up. I just finished pulling off the heat shield on the top which also has the pull start mechanism and this engine is pretty filthy right here. But let's continue to take this engine apart. I managed to take most of the covers off the engine over here and the starter came off as well. One of the bolts wasn't really placed smart. I have to admit that breaks in Stratton. But now I'm going to move on to the carburetor, the governor and the intake manifold. After that I'm going to have to take off the flywheel as well just so that I can clean around the magnets. And then we're going to look at this side over here where the oil filter is and just clean up the block in general. Clean up the cylinders and everything around there because as you guys seen there was a mouse nest in there and uh, if I would have just started this up and uh, actually not have cleaned this engine uh, the cooling wouldn't have been as sufficient so uh, I really want to get this cleaned up so let's get back to work.
I just made a decision over here that I will buy a full gasket kit for this engine. Uh, I did take some gaskets apart and they were just too brittle and they just ripped. And I would like to take off the cylinder heads to see how the cylinders actually look like and if it's scored and actually take some measurements. So I am just gonna buy a full gasket kit. Um, that will probably include everything that I need. Also the seals for the crankshaft as well. And yeah, that's gonna be uh, probably a brand new engine by the looks of it. The cylinders look really good, but I can't say anything unless I take the cylinder heads off and really view the top end and also the valves as well. So I'm gonna actually just dig into this engine and take it even more apart and then get that gasket kit ordered so we can put this engine back together very soon and have it running in the new garden tractor. On the table over here, I have most of the parts from the engine laid out. I have the crankshaft, the two halves of the engine block, camshaft, pistons, and cylinder heads right there. The pistons themselves are in very good condition, as you guys can see. There is little just barely anywhere and the top it is wet because I had the engine inverted so I believe oil did get to the cylinder heads um, just as I was taking it apart and uh, there is a little bit of carbon buildup but it's nothing too serious I think that looks very normal and uh, like I said the wear is uh, very minimal on this engine as well as the cylinder bores they are in very good condition as well I'll give you guys a close-up on everything right here once it's cleaned up so we can also get some rough measurements. And uh, hopefully that gasket kit comes in soon so I can actually reassemble this engine here um, and get it fired up. But in the meantime, I will be just cleaning everything here on this table, um, especially this governor right here. As you guys can see, that's really, really dirty, and I have to make sure that those springs go in the proper location again. Uh, I have to disassemble the starter to clean that up internally probably. Uh, I'm gonna be getting a new oil filter as well. So there's quite a bit of work right here in front of me. And uh, I just have to make sure everything is clean before I reassemble it. I shared with you guys the parts over there on the table. Uh, the engine internally looks good, so there is no internal damage. I went ahead and ordered a gasket kit uh, I didn't really have to do it, but I guess I just did, so this engine might last me another two years or maybe up to five years longer if I maintain it properly, so that's always nice. And uh, what I will be doing is actually just getting behind this and cleaning everything. I don't want to show you guys so much b-roll of me just cleaning all this. Uh, it's not worth it. I'll show you guys a reassembly and start up in a part two of this video, or for this engine actually. And until then, if you like this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, it helps this channel out massively, and if you have any comments, please leave them down below or any concerns as well, and as always, stay tuned.